Hi, uh, hello there, hey, hey. So today's topic is being stuck and how to get out of it. So being stuck and how to get out of it. The first thing I want to say is, if you think about it, being stuck, it's not about being stuck. And I will come back to you about that just in a, in a, in a minute. Uh, so my name is Kim and I help you as a network marketer to bring your business online to get more prospects and leads into your business so you can get the results that you want. So for your business to spark. So back to being stuck. So it's not, if you think about it, it's not literally being stuck because if you were stuck, couldn't move. I mean, it wouldn't work like that. It's about feeling stuck. And it's a quite an important distinction to make. It's about how you feel. It's not that you, that you are stuck. I often find myself saying I'm stuck, you know, I, I like I am stuck. So what is the reason then? Why do we feel stuck? And yes, it is about how what we say to ourselves, our thoughts, the way we think, what's going on in our mind and are doing this. <laughs> I mean, kind of, yeah, let's call it negative thinking. So for me personally, I know I've been looking into this for a while now. What is it? What happens to me when I feel stuck? What's going on? What am I saying to myself? And if you uh, can resonate with this, if you feel like, yeah, that's me too, please let me know. If, if you don't watch this live, can you can make a comment anyway. Afterwards, you can put a hashtag replay and make a comment and it would be lovely to hear from you and to hear what you think what is your experience so anyway my think that my thinking my thoughts are things like i have nothing to say or why would anybody listen to me or yeah i don't know i don't know enough i'm kind of too new to this and uh, I, i'm not it's basically what i'm saying to myself i'm not good enough so why do I have these thoughts then, and you as well? I, I, I assume that you have those thoughts as well. And that is because we compare ourselves, especially in this business, I would say, in the network marketing business. We compare ourselves with people way, way, way ahead of us. Or maybe not too way ahead, but quite a, a, a ahead of us. So, uh, so for me, for example, if I don't uh, uh, are aware of it myself, I look at people who are big in the, they train people, they coach and mentor, and they have a huge income and they are just amazing results. So when I compare myself to them, obviously, uh, I feel like I got, you know, I'm nothing to say. So I want you to stop doing this. I need to stop doing this as well, because it's not going to lead you anywhere except for what you're going to do is to feel continue to feel stuck and uh, by the way that is the thing we're always going to have periods of feeling stuck or episodes of feeling stuck the thing here is to learn what to do with it how to deal with it when it happens so let me see yes uh comparing ourselves i'm looking at my notes here to see that i'll get everything i want to say to you in the short time uh so Yes, here's the thing. Think about it. So, for example, when you were in school, um, I don't know what kind of age, but let's say six, seven, eight or something like that. I didn't do school in America. I'm Swedish and I live in the UK. We have a different system, but I was young. <laughs> yes, I was young once. And at that time, I remember clearly how I looked up to the, the uh, some people or some students a year ahead of me, maybe two years ahead but specifically the year ahead was like wow i'm looking for oh you know i want to be there i want to be where they are so and sometimes maybe ask for uh, i don't know advice i don't think i asked for can i have an advice from you but listen to what they said and what they did and all that stuff so this goes for this in this business as well you just need to be a step ahead uh, or maybe two steps uh, ahead, uh, something like that, to help to be able to he help someone. But when you're coming from, uh, I have nothing to say, 
uh, or and all that, whatever thoughts that there is you're having that makes you feel stuck. You are thinking about yourself. You're coming from me, 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 me. And obviously it's you, 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 you. Yeah, but you know, <laughs> you know what I mean. Me, 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 me. So the focus is on you. Rather than when you think about it, if you look out, if there are people just a step behind you that want your they want your help, they reach out for you, they're there, they they not they don't know you're there yet, but they need your help. So you can talk to them. So let's talk about your business. So you can share with them what you learned, even if it's just a step ahead. Or if you don't know, you can you can tell them, I know someone you, that you could talk to who might be able to help you with this. So people are more likely in this industry, I say this industry because I can't talk about other industries. People are not looking for to get to a multimillionaire and to the gurus to say, please help me. They're looking for people that are a little bit ahead that are much closer to uh, sort of like, like a friend, uh, a little bit more experienced to get some help, to get some advice. So that's, that's the thing. One thing I wanted to share with you today is to shift the focus from you to the other people. So my homework challenge for you, let's call it just your homework, I suggest for you uh, this week is as often as you can when you're out and about there in the shops or whatever you are out for a walk, practice looking at other people, what's going on with them, you know, look around and see who's around and what do they wear and just be more focused and imagine that they are your potential uh, prospects or a customer uh, that have trouble of some sort. So focus on them. It's about them. It's not about you. So that is your homework and practice and enjoy it and have fun with it. Be the detective. Yeah, be the detective. And I will see you here next time. Uh, have a good week and I'll see you soon then. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.